we've all heard that dogs are a human's best friend. But truth be told, humans are not always a dog's best friend. <laughs> yes, I know this may come as a big surprise, but it's true. My name is Fuzz, and I'm a ball, a dog's true best friend. Humans made me for playing tennis, but it turns out friendship was my destiny. This is the story of me and my best friend in the whole world, Bongo. There's only one thing Bongo loves chasing more than his family's cat, Speedy, and that something is me. Before we met, I would go to the tennis court with my human every day. He and his playing partner would hit me back and forth over the net again and again. <sighs> it was a boring life, always the same. Bongo was a dog who lived down the street from where we played. Every day around the same time, I would see him walk by with his human. He would watch me attentively, and I would look back at him. <sighs> it was as though we were meant to know each other. I I'm not sure what spurred it, but one day, Bongo acted out of impulse. He broke free from his human's leash, ran onto the tennis court, and snatched me midair as I flew over the net. Together, we fled the scene and didn't stop until we were safely home on his front lawn. <laughs> I could still hear the tennis players calling after us in surprise. Hey, get back here, dog. That's our tennis ball. <laughs> oh, but it was no use. Bongo and I were long gone, and there was no taking me back. Bongo had claimed me as his, and I was happy with that. Little did I know that my greatest friendship and adventure had just begun. I remember how Bongo's slobber felt on my fuzzy round head, the way he would sit there chewing and licking me for hours, <laughs> and the endless games of fetch we would play together. Yes, my new life was a blessing. Bongo and I were inseparable. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Magic Kids Story. Fuzz, the incredible story of a dog's best friend. Subscribe to the Magic Kids app to hear the rest of this story, as well as the world's most magical audio library featuring new stories, music, meditations, and learning activities every week. Our fair pay publishing model pays our artists 50% of the subscription revenue so they can continue making magic for your kids. Already a fan? Share Magic Kids with three friends and help us raise the spiritometer today. Thanks for tuning in, and you'll hear us next time.